Hi, I'm Dr. Radhika. I'm here to give you a sequel of our previous session. Last year on World Cancer Day, we had introduced a, a nice link, which is live on YouTube for patients with lymphedema. Patients who suffer breast cancer and as a result of breast cancer, few people have a complication called lymphedema. So we had done an awareness program and an awareness video on that. So this year, the concept is new is you. It's all about discovering yourself. Since my main topic is obesity after chemotherapy for cancer patients, we all know many people in our family, in our close-knit family, in our friend circle, at least one of them have a cancer patient in their family or are a cancer patient themselves. My whole point is, when they go through the whole cancer treatment, invariably, they might be going through chemotherapy and radiotherapy as their main protocol. So after chemotherapy, what happens is, first few years, probably say first six months to one year, the patient tends to reduce or the patient undergoes a considerable weight loss due to the side effects of chemotherapy drugs. But what eventually starts happening is, after the first year, once the patient's chemotherapy cycles get over, once the radiotherapy cycles get over, the patient starts putting on weight gradually. And now, then the patient is at risk to fall prey for obesity. Before I go further down and tell you how to manage obesity and what are the major causes, I would like to tell you something about obesity itself. Now there are two aspects to obesity which we come across in our daily terms and we feel that there is nothing much different about it. One is the term overweight and the other is the term obesity. In normal individual, the body mass index is calculated in order to know how much of fat percent is there in an individual's body. 19% to 25% of BMI says that the person is normal, the fat amount in the person's body is normal. Once the BMI exceeds 25, which means if it lies between 25 to 29.9, then the person is considered to be mildly on the overweight side, which is he's marginally higher on the fat mass in his body, which can be managed. Now, having said that, if the person's BMI calculated goes beyond 30%, it means that the person is considered under obesity category. Now, in obesity itself, there are different stages, mildly obese, moderately obese, and morbidly obese. We need not go into the details of either, but you need to understand the fact that there is a fine demarcating line between overweight and obesity. If you know that your body mass index is slightly higher than 25, but within 30, it is the right time for you to get agile and start working towards managing your lifestyle and bringing a proper diet into your lifestyle and also in including some kind of an exercises. My main aim of saying that people need to take care of their health post chemotherapy, especially cancer patients, is because there are several studies that are con conducted off late and most of it have shown that patient tends to put on a lot of weight after a few years once they finish with chemotherapy drugs. There is one such major study conducted by University of Texas which dealt for 10 years and which catered and assessed the patient for 10 years and saw the amount of difference in weight that the patient showed. Their body mass index were assessed. What happened was they came up with the conclusion that 54% of the population post chemotherapy were lying in the obesity category, whereas 40% of them were lying in the overweight category. That means clearly that we are left out with only hardly 4 to 5% of normal people post chemotherapy medicines. So you need to understand that you need to take your life more seriously. Just battling cancer or getting done with the chemotherapy drugs is not the end all and be all of it. You need to go ahead and take care of your health, 
manage your lifestyle in such a way that you know to take care of your diet you know that you need not take too much of carbohydrates you need to take a protein rich diet having said that that's not the only aspect you also need to burn out the calories that you already have in your body which means you need to work out now when you need to work out you might think or you might come up with questions like i have knee pain i have back pain i have heel pain after my chemotherapy my body has become traumatized to an extent where i can't do much activity so for all such people i have made a small video on the exercises that you are all supposed to do and which will be healthy it does not have any side effects feel free to go ahead and watch the complete video which gives you a detailed explanation of the exercises start with gradual exercising and slowly you can get on to increasing the counts when you de- do these exercises and manage your lifestyle by modifying your diet pattern you will definitely see good results be healthy stay fit stay healthy all the best hi i am dr radhika just the way i told you a little bit about obesity today we are going to see few exercises which will help you work out your abdominal muscles your bum muscles and your thigh muscles so what you are supposed to do is keep a track of your breath always breathe out through your mouth and the second main thing is you have to hold your tummy tight in and then you start doing the exercise first keep your arms this way start swinging your leg front and back without dropping your leg down try doing that 20 times that will make a set repeat the same on the other leg try doing two to sets eventually that's the first one then try keeping both the hands by your side or on your waist and try letting your leg go out and swing it back inside try doing this 20 times it will help you work out your side muscles and your thigh muscles do the same on the other side 20 will make a set we are supposed to do two to sets keep your tummy tucked in now keep both the hands away for getting a broader base start making circle 20 clockwise 20 and clockwise we'll make a set you're supposed to do two to sets on each side same thing on the other side as well this should be good for the exercises in standing once you're done with all of this just do a side stretch take your hands over your head and stay there for five counts you can breathe out while bending to your side and gently come back now lie down onto the ground lift one leg and pull to your chest so you pull and you stay there for five counts and then you relax pull the other leg stay for five counts again and relax repeat two two times on each leg then keep one leg over the other and clasp the other thigh pull it towards your chest stay there for five counts and then relax do the same on the other leg pull it hold for five counts and relax do two two times on each side now especially for people who have knee pain post chemotherapy grab two pillows have it underneath your knee in such a manner that the pillow covers the mid thigh until your mid calf you can lie down press your knee and make sure your feet lifts up stay there for 10 counts and drop it down again lift it up stay for 10 counts and drop it down repeat this 10 times remove one pillow keep one pillow underneath your heel make sure your heel is on the middle of the pillow and you lie down straight when you lie down straight press your heel in nicely into the pillow tuck your toes towards yourself you feel a nice pull behind your knee stay there for five counts and relax again press stay there for five counts and relax you supposed to do that 10 times this is to knee pain it will help you get rid of the knee pain now try working out towards your abdomen keep both hands underneath your bum Lift both your legs up. Flap your leg up and down. Ten makes a set. Try doing three sets of this. Then lift both your legs up. Start moving the legs on either sides. 
10 makes a set again, try doing 3 sets. Then gently turn to one side. Keep one hand underneath your head. The other hand has to be on the ground. Keep the lower leg folded. Upper leg starts flapping up and down. 10 makes a set. Try doing 3 sets. On this side, turn to the other side. And repeat the same. Again, 10 makes a set on this side as well. 3 sets. Then slowly, lie down on your stomach. Keep your hands underneath your head. You can relax your head and lift one leg up. And keep flapping. 10 makes a set, 3 sets. On each leg. Do this much, that should be good enough for you to make sure you tone up your abdomen, your waistline, your thigh, and overall stamina would be improved. That should be good. All right.